So, so, Sophia, is, is it fair to say that you somehow created a community around this? Yeah, oh, definitely. If you could go online and see the families that we have taken part. So I can think of lots of children who started when they were three, who are now, I can't do math, but, you know, they're now <laughs> 11 or 12. And uh, but it's not really just about them. It's about their parents who are meeting other parents who have children with the same disabilities. There's always one little girl that I refer to who has a disability that only... I think it's 80 children in the whole world have this chromosome disability. Wow. Her name's Eve. And then they found another family, and now four of them take part in the event. It's amazing. So they come along with their parents and do the that event. And it's great because those families get to talk about, you know, these, some of these disabilities, especially with rare diseases. You don't meet anybody who has the same thing, and you can't talk to other parents about what the prognosis is. And so, yeah, I think the communities that we've built aren't just about the participants. Sometimes it's about just bringing people together to have a really good chat. Um, and the other community that I think we've been really good for is the service people. So um, we work very closely with Invictus and Help for Heroes. Um, and what we found out from them was that they often take part in sporting events themselves, but their wives or husbands or children don't get to be part of their rehab, whereas the superhero series, they all get to do something together, which I think is really powerful as well. Yeah, I think it's really important to bring the families together in a different way now. I um, This is a silly point, but I was in Walmart yesterday and they have these Christmas pajamas or holiday pajamas for the whole family. Yeah, the parents, the kids. And and I, I looked at it and I thought, that's so silly. But I thought, but also sort of sweet, right? <laughs> because, yeah. because, you know, it, it's interesting to be a family, especially a family with a child with a, a, a more severe disability. And I agree with what you said, Sophia. The, the reality is being able to talk to other families that are dealing with the same thing that you're dealing with, it is a gift. It is a gift. There's things you can share. You just can't, sh it's hard for other people to understand. And sometimes other people just get overwhelmed and almost feel so sorry for you that it, you don't have the impact either. Just even little silly things like when my daughter got very sick and gained so much weight all at once within two months, just the way society was treating her, you know, like she can't control her eating when it was absolutely had nothing to do with eating. It, having, being able to talk to other families that have experienced that, it, it's been a gift to me. And I also find that as my beautiful daughter continues to grow into adulthood, that sometimes it, it's, it's a little bit more challenging for us as families. And oh, so, definitely. yeah, I just think it's so important to do what you're doing and bring the families together. That is a byproduct, but it's a powerful byproduct for us families. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And I, I've definitely seen firsthand because I, I have children of my own now. And I now realise that my parents probably found it harder than I did now that I've got children because it's much harder to, to deal with something for your kids than it is to deal with it by yourself. I agree. I think most of the parents that bring their children along drag their kids along to do the event so they can be there. But, you know, you see them pushing their children along in boats and like pulling them on bikes. And I've seen kids that are asleep while their parents are doing the event. So I think you're right. I think it is more about the family than themselves. But also, you know, I mustn't sort of steer away from the fact that we also, because our winter event coincides with International Day of Dis Disability, we have lots of organisations that are partners or corporate friends of ours who come and celebrate their International Day of Disability there with all of their DNI networks, because why wouldn't you celebrate your disability on that day? So we have quite a lot of corporates come along and take on the event in December, and uh, you watch them all struggling around and having a bit of a giggle at the end and celebrating <laughs> in, in what way better than just by uh, dressing up as a superhero and trying to run 5K. 